Right now, two foster parents are charged tonight. One is in custody after a two year old girl was hospitalized in a critical condition last month here in Columbus. Angel Foster Burks was in court today on child endangering and animal cruelty charges. Clayton Burks is also charged but is not in custody. Good to see you tonight at 6. I'm Andrew Kinsey. And I'm Yolanda Harris. Police say the child will survive but will have long term complications from her injuries. Chief investigative reporter Bennett Haverly is here now taking a deeper look into this case. Bennett? Yolanda, tonight Angel Foster Burks is being held on a $100,000 bond. Authorities call her a passive participant and allege that the other foster parent in this case, Clayton Burks, is the person who injured the child. This was the scene back in early February as Columbus police were stationed outside of this home on Glenwood Avenue. The concern, an injured child. Court records allege that one of the foster parents, Clayton Burks, hurt the two-year-old girl. While she will survive, doctors at Nationwide Children's Hospital noted that the inner cranial injuries identified in the child are highly concerning for abusive head trauma. Angel Foster Burks was also charged in this case. She appeared in court Thursday morning. Allegations are on February 4th, 2023, uh, the victim who was a minor was transported to Children's Hospital with multiple injuries, including a brain bleed, which the doctors uh, determined were consistent with abuse. A uh, defendant is a foster parent to that victim. An uh, investigation revealed that the victim's foster father likely caused that abuse while the defendant was a passive participant. Angel is being held on a $100,000 bond and is also facing animal welfare charges. The same day police were investigating the injured girl, the city removed three dogs and three cats, noting there was trash, feces and urine all throughout the residence. Ten investigates found the house vacant today. It was deemed hazardous more than a month ago. A neighbor who declined to speak on camera told us the Burks had been caring for several other children in the home. And tonight we are also asking questions of police and Franklin County Children's Services. We wanted to ask about the timing of these charges, given that that incident happened back in early February, and also more about how the Burks actually became foster parents. Ken Investigates has spent months digging into issues within the foster care system. You can watch our previous investigations online right now at 10TV.com.